got home early. Peter's through early. Oh, honey, you're hot. Let me see your face. That's Mama. Got nobody to play with. Everybody's at camp but me and that stupid Jane. You know, you're going to camp soon as Peter finishes the book. I know. Look what he gave me. Daddy! Hi. Hi, honey. Peggy, come up and take care of your fish. Already. Well, don't make the water too hot this time. I won't. Peggy, found a couple of new matchbooks for your collection. Tell Aunt Judy camp's been postponed for a couple of weeks. Come on, Bobby. Bobby. Ooh. Forgot to put your water in. You know what? Janie was teasing me again today. What did I tell you to do when she starts at? Ignore her. And why? Because she's an unhappy little girl. Do you know what I told her? I told her she was a liar. Because I really do have a father. Only he's dead. Night, darling. Night, Mama. Peggy, go do that in the bathroom. I bet you don't know I'm a model now, like my mother. Since when? Hey, kid, you're dripping. Look. She's half right, Carol. She's not actually a professional model, but the photographer is doing a kid's picture book with her, and, well, she's having a wonderful time with him. Who are you going out with? Old friend. Old, old friend. Name's Larry. Do I know Larry? No. Well, if he's an old, old friend, how come I don't know him? Because I knew him a long, long time ago. Peggy, stand still. But it's in my eyes. Don't you want to look nice for Larry? Where are we going? Central Park. Maid and go to the museum for lunch. All done. Hi, Larry. Hi. 
wife. Oh, what a beautiful rose. Harry, this is Peggy. Well, hello, Peggy. Wonder what's in that package. That is a present for Peggy. Very welcome. Mama, look. Peggy, let's go inside. Peggy is too hot for games. You go inside and cool off. I'll get it. Okay? Okay. Peggy, let's go in. Peggy, let me check the boat inside. No. Well, they won't allow you to take it in. You can't sail a boat in a museum. Maybe I can. Wait till we get to Central Park. They don't have any lakes in here. Well, they ought to. Where'd you go? Oh, we we're just looking in pictures. <laughs>
why didn't you check it in the first place? Maybe I should have tied a string to her, too. Look, she's more interested in the motorboats now anyway. You know, parts of South America are, are just fabulous, but there's no place like New York City. You gonna go back? Well, I've got a month's leave to make up my mind. What'd you do if you stayed? I'm not quite sure. The company's pretty rough on transfers. Of course, my father would love to have me take over his business, but it's his business, and who wants to go back and live in that burg? I'm going to have to visit him in a couple of days. What'll I do with it? I can't stop it. Made you run down to South America for so long. All the usual pressures and the work was the kind of work that I liked. With all the construction around Sao Paulo and the rest of South America was a regular engineer's paradise. Have you ever been up in the Statue of Liberty? I never have either. Both times when I left the country, when I was in the army and when I went to South America, as I went past it, I was feeling pretty sad. But coming back, I got such a special kind of a feeling. I'd like to climb it. That sound crazy? Would you like to go? Sightseeing? Sure. Mama, a boy threw my boat in the water. What happened to the string? Okay, come on, Peggy, I'll get it. Your father was able to get it. He's not my father. Peggy's all right? Oh, sure. Stomach ache was just an act. Doesn't like being left with Carol on Sundays.
you see the people in the crowd? Oh, God. With silent lips, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. That's just like Peggy. She hasn't been here either. I have to bring her sometime. Larry, do you mind if we don't climb to the crown? It's so high. What do you mean? Look how low it is. <laughs> okay, we've got lots more to do anyway. Take some more later. Let's get a souvenir for Peggy here. Oh, look! Would you like one? How much?
Oh, I'm frightfully sorry. Hello, sir. Wish you didn't have to work tomorrow. I don't. I don't work every day. Wonderful. More sightseeing? No, I'd love to, but I promised I'd look at a new house for a friend of mine. He's planning on buying. I got a rented car to drive out in. Would you like to keep me company? Sure. You know we've been together since 9 o'clock this morning. She didn't give you too much trouble. Mm -hmm. Night, Carol. Thanks. Thank you. Night. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it easy now. We haven't seen it yet. Mm, it's enough for me. Oh, wonderful. Oh, oh yeah, how about that? What is that? It's just the damper. The water's going. Would you uh, mind saying a few words into the microphone, please? <laughs> Yes, this is a lovely house, and I'll take it. Want this on? Larry? Larry, closet!
No, what? What? I'm hungry. Well, well, let's hop into the car and go get something to eat. Got a better idea. What? Let's eat here. Here? What'll we eat? You can go down and get something. Okay, what'll I get? Whatever you want. Okay. Too. Where do you see the ones I brought you? Oh, they're sweet. How do you like the bunny? Did you bring this for me? That's for Peggy. This is for you. <sighs> I'm starved. Oh, wood. Got 
Enough here to stay for a week. Be nice, wouldn't it? Peter gave me. Oh, lovely. You must be Larry. Yeah, hello, Peter. Look at Peggy. Get closer, Larry. Do it like Peter. That's very good. Nice and still. Good girl. Peter, you've been handling her beautifully. Well, she's been wonderful to work with. Goodbye, Larry. Fine. Gotta go now. Okay. Bye, Peggy. I'll be calling you. Will you read to me? This? Yes, this. It's a little technical. It's okay. If this failure of these pioneers to communicate with one another seems surprising, you should remember that dissemination of technical information <laughs> had not reached its present state. Doesn't it strike you as remarkable that the techniques for making high quality sound, high quality sound, records by the use of electromagnetism were not made use of until some 20 years after the indie Visual theories had been put forward. Wouldn't you have thought the engineer working on the same problem <laughs> long after the first idea <laughs> had been put forward, we made a thorough <laughs> investigation into all the discoveries pertaining to that idea. <laughs> The idea of laying a sound wave. Down some maximum. <laughs> I don't like that story. Read me another one. What other story? That one. Where? Over there. There? Yeah. <laughs> Any particular one? That one. Okay. This whale's name was Fairchild Harrington, 
and he lived in one of the biggest houses you could imagine. For the house Fairchild lived in was the whole Pacific Ocean. It was so big that just in case he ever wanted to, he could run up to the North Pole. You want to read? Yes. Okay, try it here. Sahara Desert. Now, this needn't have presented too much of a problem. However, Fairchild didn't know yet was that his this place this placement month. was going to be too great for the Peggy bedtime Suez Canal Suez Canal I wish we had television mm. Good night, Peggy. I left my doll on the couch. That's mine. It's a hot night. Could cool off in a movie. I'm not in the mood for a movie. Could always get a babysitter. I'd rather stay right here. Where'd you get that? My grandmother gave it to me. Oh, Peggy. I'm hungry. You just ate. I'm still hungry. Well, go in the kitchen and get yourself a cookie or something. Peggy, good night. Did you look like that when you were seven? I don't know. What did you look like when you were seven? I had curls. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. You think maybe we could lock the door or something? We'd really have trouble with her. I have to brush my teeth. Don't die. I just ate something. Finish brushing your teeth and get right back into bed. Now. Peggy, just throw off the sheet. It's a hot night. Tomorrow, let's get a babysitter. I think I have a temperature or something. You haven't got a temperature. Not... Just throw off the sheet. Go to sleep. Peggy! 
Gee, are you up again? If you don't start that, I'm going to have to come in there and spank you. You better not, or I'll tell my mother. She doesn't believe in hitting children. Carol, do you like Larry? Sure. I think he's cute. Is your mother going to marry him? Of course not. I've been feeling wonderful ever since I first got back. Being home again, seeing the city with you. I wish I hadn't told my father I'd go back there tomorrow. Anne, I didn't say I was really going. I don't see how I can now. I'd rather stay here with you. Besides, I'd hope to be able to take you back with me when I went. Baby kangaroo is small in my little finger and it goes in its mother's pocket and doesn't come out for months? I didn't know that. Larry, are you going to marry my mother? bigger than Janie's. Isn't Mama supposed to get a ring? Sure. She'll get a wedding ring later. That's the right place for it. Where else are you going to put it? <laughs> you know it needs something. Oh, no, not that. Not there. Yes, I like it. Oh, no. But I like it. Oh. And now to repeat the local weather. Little change. Look at Peggy. Perfect weather for the beach. Temperature 78. Possibly Turn it off. in the afternoon. Peggy, a doll carriage at the beach? I'll take care of it myself. Peggy! No, 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 I'll get it.
I'll meet you over by the soft drink stand. Okay. Come on, come get your carriage. All right, Peggy. Here's your things. I'm going to the beach.
What happened? I thought you got lost. Oh, no. How can he get lost in a parking lot? Come on. And wait a second. I need a drink or something. How'd you get so filthy? Coke, please. Large. What are you doing? Nothing. Now, how do you expect to drag that across the sand? I'll go slow. Feel good? Sure. <laughs> Where's Peggy? You know you're not supposed to go in without telling me first. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I brought for Peggy. Oh, not now, Larry. And not all at once. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Peggy, you know you're not supposed to have those, huh? I want them now. Well, all right. Don't eat them all now, huh? Don't eat them all. The only thing wrong with New York is you have to, uh, you have no place to park a car. Still like to live in the country. Yeah, but you have to be a millionaire. Can you picture me being a commuter? Sure.
Where's Peggy? There. I tell you that Brockman thinks he can get me transferred to the New York office? Wonderful. Well, I don't think he can swing it, but I'm willing to try. He's arranged for us to have dinner with one of the VPs and his wife. Did he give you a hard time in the parking lot? Uh-huh. Larry, I know it's hard in the beginning. Gotta give it a little time. You should get to love you as much as I do. Well, it's only for a day, and Dad will meet her after we're married, anyhow. Isn't it that you just don't want to take her with us to meet him now? Actually doing is... Ask, asking me to pretend she doesn't exist. He's an old guy. I just don't want to shock him. Let Peggy go in the water alone. You know she's not supposed to go in the water alone. Well, she knows that too, doesn't she? She's a child. Well, she was right here. I didn't go swimming. I just went in to wash the sand out of my hair. I think I swallowed a sucker. Where'd you get a sucker? Larry gave it to me. I want to go home. That's just where we're going. Inside, I have a present for you. No, I don't want to go inside. Don't you want to see your present? I don't want to go inside. Oh, Peggy, it's a doll. Don't you want to see it? I like my old doll. What did I do wrong? She's in a mood, Larry. Why don't you just leave it? Well, if she doesn't like this one, why don't I take her downtown and better pick one out that she does like? It's not a doll she doesn't like. It's just that she's attached to the old ones, the one that Frank gave her. Besides, you don't know what it's like taking a kid to a toy store. They don't know what they want, and you can't get them out of the place. Did you ever try using a bow tie? I hate them. 
I don't see why it'd be such a job to take a kid to a store. Try it. Okay, I will. It's about time she did something alone with me. How long is Peter gonna be hanging around here? Oh, Larry, you can't expect her to accept you overnight. She... she doesn't feel the way we do. Okay, okay, let's not argue it, especially not today. Shall I wear my new dress tonight? Yeah. Okay. I'll get Peggy ready. I looked at that over an hour ago and you didn't want it. Now, what do you want it now for? But I want it. Uh, one of these, please. Let's go get some lunch. eat a whole lot of big, fat, juicy worms every day. How do you know? Peter told me. Come on. Uh... 
All right, you've had enough now. Come on, we're going. Why didn't you tell me when we're in the store? Before. All right. Go in the restaurant. No, you're not supposed to do that. My ankle hurts. Stomach hurts too, and it made me pick a present in a hurry. And it was a rotten sandwich, and it made me eat every bit of it. Then he made me fall, so I broke my ankle, and then he hit me. Peggy, Peggy, you know that's not true. You're a liar, and I hate you. And he lost me too. I told you she didn't look well this morning. What'd you do to her? What do you mean, what did I do to her? It's just been impossible to handle her all day long. When's the babysitter coming? Did you have to hit her? You don't believe that, do you? Well, what if I had? I can't leave her alone when she's like this. Well, you know how much tonight means. It's going to put John in a fine spot. She's just, she's just doing it to try to keep you from going out. Can't you go without me? How? You don't think she got sick from eating that sandwich, do you? I hope not. I still have to call the doctor. You saw her ankle, and I can't leave her alone when she's like this. Besides, it's partly my fault. How can you be so blind? I suppose you think you're right. Well, uh, you're about as right as that thing in the TV set. What's wrong with it? Well, if you don't know, I can't tell you. Larry, I think you wanted this argument. Are you going to come out with me tonight or not?
Mama, I can't get my program clear. I told you not to play with the inside dials. E, G, G. I told you not to play with the phone. It's for two people. I was only spelling. Mommy, my matches are all upset. Oh, everything happens to me. Play with me, Mama. Oh, Peggy, you're going to camp in a couple of days. Can't you find something to do for 48 hours? No. Isn't Peter going to be shooting you tomorrow? Yeah, the last time. Peggy, go find your camera and take some pictures. There's no film in it. And stop wiggling your tooth and go away and stop annoying me. Go on. But I'm here. Oh, lots of things. A favorite fish, Bobby's sick. Television set's broken. Wait a minute. My tooth is very shaky. Larry, where have you been all this time? Well, that's a silly reason. Yes, I missed you. She's at the groceries, but I'm here. Right now? All right, bye. Hi, Peggy. Hi. Is your mother home yet? No. I've got a present for you. Ooh, 
a puppy. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Come on. Come on. Come on. Isn't he sweet? Thanks. Come on, Peggy, let's go find your mother. No, I want to stay here and play with the dog. You can take the dog with you. Come on. How do you like that car? It's nice, but the hood can't come off. Yeah, but it's ours. It is? Yep. Peggy, let's go home now. I think we missed her. Jane, look what 